find this week's tutorial interesting and helpful. I am taking an, a cardigan that I had made last year that's very, it's nice, just very plain. Um, and I'll be adding some embellishment to it, some patchwork embellishment, as well as patchwork patches on the elbows. Now, before we move forward with the, into the tutorial, I just wanted to take a moment and say that this is just one of many ways that you could do this project. This just happens to be the way that I do it. So I hope that someone finds it useful and helpful. If it's not the way you do it and you disagree, that's fine. There's a million different ways to skin a cat. So I am just showing people the way that I do things. And hopefully, like I said, someone out there will find it useful helpful and interesting. So here we go. Everybody, welcome back to Stitch by Stacy. Today I thought we would do another patchwork project. Something very simple, um, but fun and, you know, kind of practical. I don't know about you, but when the weather starts to cool down, I do find myself wearing a lot of light layers. And I tend to have a collection of these. Um, you know, this one happens to be a jersey cardigan. I've had this one for, gosh, I've had this for years. And then last year, here's another one that I, this one I made last year out of some vintage fabric. Um, I really like it. It's really comfortable. It's very plain. And the other one is very plain. And I thought, you know, I'd like to doll them up. Plus I have a bad habit of wearing the elbows out on my shirts you know, before anything else. And that's because I tend to go like this a lot, um, or I rest my elbows on things. So I do tend that the material in the elbows of my shirts and my cardigans and stuff do, do tend to wear out first and that fabric gets thin. So what I thought is that it would be fun to make some patchwork patches to add to the elbows of a couple of my cardigans. Um, maybe add some other patchwork details just to embellish it and dull it up a little bit. Um, neither of these have pockets. So maybe we need to add some patchwork pockets. So if you'd like to do this project along with me, go grab, you know, a cardigan, a sweatshirt, sweater, whatever you have that you would like to embellish it, add some patchwork patches on the elbows. Um, go grab some fabric. Like I said, it can be cut in squares. It can be cut in any shape. We're just going to cut them together, you know, sew them all together and then cut them out into the shape that we want on our elbows anyway. So it doesn't matter what shape they're in, but go gather all your stuff together and meet me back here. So I think I want to start with these to begin with. I really, this combination works really well, I think with the, the neutral cardigan. So I've laid this out on my board or my cutting mat. I think it'll be the easiest. So halfway down on this side is 10. So let's just go ahead and line that up. And then we'll also do that at the 14 as well. Okay, so now we've got them all cut this way. I think just to make life easier, I'm just gonna stack these over on top of their mates like this. And then we'll cut across. So got them stacked on top of each other. This side we're gonna be cutting halfway is at the nine inch mark. So let's cut that. And then for this one, it's at the 15. So let's get it lined up. There we go. And cut. Okay. Now we have all of our little patches. So if you're sewing along with me, now is the time to decide how you're going to sew all of these together in a random way or in a way that you like so that you make basically a piece of fabric to lay your pattern out on. Okay, so I have all my little squares sewn together. I also went ahead and cut out a piece of cotton. Uh, just I had extra white cotton laying around, so that's what I chose to use. Not that you're going to see it, but you'll see why I did that. So the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of get a good feel for where I'm going to place 
the pattern. So I've got more than enough room. Okay, kind of have an idea. Now, I'm going to go ahead and place this white piece on top of it, like so. There we go. And I'm going to just put a pin in here. top and the bottom just to kind of hold it in place and then now you can either trace around this if you want to or you could go ahead and do it I'm just going to go ahead and cut out this oval then just place this over here and do another one so let's go ahead and get this this patch cut out Of course, okay, I stuck so it. now I have both patches cut out, and as you can see, I've got them all pinned together. So I have right sides of the white and the patchwork pinned together. And you can probably see I have red pins right here, two red pins, because I'm going to start at one red pin. I'm going to sew all the way around to the other red pin. I'm going to stop right here. We'll backstitch here. We'll backstitch here. That way we have this much space in order to turn out everything onto the correct side. And we're gonna do the same on this one. So let's get these sewn together and we'll wait back here at the cutting table. Okay, so I've got mine all sewn together. Hope you got yours all sewn together. I did just a very narrow stitch all the way around the edge. So now all we have to do is turn them right side out. You notice I have a little tool here. It's actually not a sewing tool. That little wooden piece was actually uh, a brace that came in a new pair of shoes I got. But I love this thing for helping turn things out and just press into those corners or edges or even rounded edges. Um, it just works really well for me. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, I've got them both turned out. I'm just going to make sure that the edge is really nice, and then we will move on to the next step. There we go. There. Okay. So now, the next thing you need to do is just to make sure you close these up. And you're, I'm actually going to do mine on the machine. You can opt to do it by hand if you want to. And the reason I'm going to do it on the machine is because I am going to top stitch all the way around the edge. Now, if you don't want to top stitch, you don't have to. But I want to do just a very narrow top stitch all the way around the edge. And then do, I'll show you an example, but I want to do some decorative stitching along some of these edges. So let me get the top stitching done and I will meet you back here. Okay, so both of my patches are now done. They need a little bit of a press to get them to lay down nice and flat, which I will do just before I do some decorative stitching on them. So let me show you, oops, I have a little thread. I'll have to make sure, I, oh, it came off good. All right, let me show you what I plan on doing um, on this as far as decorative stitching goes. Recently I made this tote bag and as you can see I used a lot of the same fabric squares as I did for these patches but if you can see like all along in here I used different colors of thread and just pulled out random decorative stitches that I had on my machine and I just, I love the way that looked. And I just thought it was really pretty. So I'm thinking I'm going to do the same thing on these. And then when it comes to attaching it to the cardigan, let's get a sleeve. <laughs> let's get a sleeve. Of course, we're going to have to figure out, you know, where my elbow is going to fall. But for now, let's just, let's just do this. 
We'll just use this as a place for an idea. So as you can see, the colors and everything look really good on here. So when I go to attach it, or when you go to attach yours, you could do a couple of different things. <clears throat> you could hand stitch this on with a basic whip stitch or use embroidery floss um, and do the blanket stitch all the way around the edge. I think that would be really pretty. Or you could attach it by machine, which I think I'm going to do. And what I'm going to do is when I attach it, I'm going to decide which one of these pretty decorative style stitches to use. And I'm going to use a decorative stitch to attach it onto the cardigan. So I am going to go and press these and do some decorative stitching. I'll show that to you. I'll come back and show you that um, before we place them in their permanent places and then sew them on. Okay, and so I got the decorative stitches put on them. Can you see it? There's that one and second one. These are the color threads I chose to go with. I did yellow, a really pretty springy leaf green, a mauvey kind of pink, and sort of like a taupey beige. Really coordinate with this fabric beautifully. But as you can see now, it needs another press. So let's press these out nice and flat. Here we go, a little steam. Perfect. Next one. I love having this little mat. As long as I put a towel underneath it, it doesn't bother my, my cutting mat. Um, I hate having to pull out my ironing board for every, you know, for something this little. Okay. So there we go. Now we have both of our elbow patches. So now it's time to figure out where we want to place the patches actually on the cardigan. Now to make life a little bit easier on myself, I am going to remember this. This was the blazer that I used to trace off my patches. I am going to take my tape measure and I'm going to measure from the rib, cause I know how this blazer fits me and I know how the cardigan fits me. So I'm going to measure, as you can see, from the wrist up to the patch at the bottom and that's about eight and a half inches. And then from the top half of the patch up to the shoulder, which ends up being about 11 inches. So I'm going to use those measurements as a, you know, first jumping off point. And I'm going to pin my patches on my cardigan using those measurements and we'll see how it goes. I know a lot of you probably may have mannequins that you can use and that's great. I do not have one. Um, I, or a body form. I do not have a body form. I do have a mannequin, but she does not have arms. Um, so this is an alternative way. If you don't have one, a, a you know, body form or a mannequin that you can use, this is an alternative way that you can work on placement for your patches. Okay. So I got them both perfectly placed. I just tried it on again and then measured from the shoulder seam down and from the wrist up and it's perfect for where my elbow falls. And I realized I had some extra little squares that I didn't use. So I've decided for a little embellishment, I'm going to, I'm going to take a little bit of fray check and I'm going to fray check around all of these little squares, sew them together in this configuration, and then stitch over the, all the edges with uh, the same decorative stitch like I did here. So I think that'll be really pretty. and. This, I, this cardigan will be so much more interesting than when I first made it and it was just so plain. So I'm going to make these uh, additions and get these sewn on, get these together and sewn on, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Fortunately for me, my arm sleeve is, is pretty big, so I shouldn't have a hard time uh, sewing this on with my machine. Now, if your sleeves are a bit more narrow, uh, you may either have to take, pick the sleeve out, put it on, and then sew it back together, or 
uh, you could just simply hand sew it in place. All right, so I'll be back in a minute. Time for the reveal. And let me back up so you can see. Here we go. Oh, it's on this side. So yeah, I love I this. really hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial. I will do a separate tutorial on the same cardigan um, showing how I add pockets. Because I, although I love the way this looks, I think it needs pockets. So thank you so much. And I'll be back next week with another tutorial.